What's up YouTube, it's Max One Zane back with another video, quick tap in for you boys. So in this video I'm going over the three things that growth requires. Growth requires you to get out of your old ways and bad habits that no longer serves you. You can't be doing the same things you was doing yesterday, today, expecting to get farther than you were yesterday. You have to change your way and you have to shift your perspective. In order to reach your higher self and reach the next level, you have to get out of your old ways and bad habits. There comes a point where whatever you're doing, whatever your coping mechanism is, whatever you got going on, it reaches limits, it maxes out, and you can no longer continue. The universe will send signs and it will send things and it will destroy whatever it is you're clinging on to for comfort. A lot of times when we're going through hard times, we want comfort and we want to find ways to just, you know, maintain. There's nothing wrong with maintaining, but if you're doing it in a negative way, you know, far as just coping and not necessarily facing whatever you got going on head on that's not growth that's the complete opposite that's fair so the number one thing and the first thing is the change in habits you have to change your ways and change whatever it is you got going on for that you can watch a video i got called five ways to change your habits we get stuck in certain patterns and things because it just become our paradigm it become who we are you know we get used to doing this we get used to doing that and it's way easier to do a bad habit than it is a good habit I don't know if that's just a human thing, a human nature thing, but it's way easier to sit around eating snacks and, you know, BSing around than it is to hit the gym or than it is to go for a walk than it is to read a book. It's way easier to do these negative things than it is to do these harder things. So in order for growth, you have to do the things that you don't really want to do, the things that you put off, the things that's a challenge, the things that push you to the next level in order to reach your higher self. What you do frequently becomes your frequency, meaning what you do daily becomes who you are. If you hit the gym daily, you're a fit person. If you sit around and waste time, you're a procrastinator. You're a you're out of touch, out of line person. Yeah, let me put that like that in a nice way. Changing your habits and changing your ways is one thing that growth requires. It's the main thing. It's like the main ingredient, you know, it's the water to when you boil the noodles or something. It's the main ingredient, you know. Like I said, there comes a time where Whatever bad ways and bad habits you have, you can no longer do it. You know, it maxes out like a credit card. It maxes out, you know, it's to a point where at some point you have to face what's going on. You have to, you know, so do it sooner than later. <laughs>
Let go of the person you created to survive in order to thrive. Number three is solitude. Number three goes in line with number two, being authentic. Being able to flow and vibe in solitude, you know, with self, you know, building willpower, building the mind, building the mind, building the spirit, getting in tune with self, building yourself to be the person you need to be to grow. Getting in tune with self, building willpower and resilience to overcome what gets in your way. There comes a time when you have to rely solely on you. There comes a time where people won't even be able to help you, where people will leave you stranded, either intentionally or unintentionally. People will leave you and there will only be you. There will only be you to pick you up. There comes a time where it's all on you. So solitude is very important for growth. It's not about being a loner or being always alone. It's just being able to be alone. That right there is power. And that right there is how you build characteristics and strength to reach the next level and grow. A lot of people click up with people and hang around people because they can't even deal with the burden of themselves. So they put themselves onto other people and situations and things that has nothing really to do with them. They're like sheep. If you are able to be, if you are able to remain in solitude and be rooted in yourself, you will reach something that is so powerful. You will tap into the power of self, the power within and you will be able to manifest and maintain whatever it is you want. You will be able to manifest and obtain whatever it is you want. That was a quick video. Three things that growth requires. A change in habits, being authentic, and solitude. Changing your old ways, your negative ways that no longer serve you. Being your truest self, being authentic, and being true to yourself. Knowing what you want, acknowledging what you want, executing what you want. Number three, solitude. Staying rooted in yourself, building the willpower, building the resiliency to overcome whatever it is life throws at you. You got this.